Chamber, if you please. Good morning, Mr. Burke. Morning. Uh, yes, sir. 3.30, as a matter of fact. Ooh, the Queen. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Burke, but neither of your keys seems to be in the box. Uh, maybe your wife took them both upstairs, by mistake. Uh -huh. You have hit upon the solution. You shall be amply rewarded, uh, but... Uh, Mark you, it was no mistake. The Queen was merely trying to find at what time the King came back from his rendezvous with the dancing girl. Well, that appears to me the answer, Mr. Burke. Uh -huh. Then I shall pound upon the door with all the fury of a Henry demanding entrance into the boudoir of his Anne. Loyal vassal, good night. Oh, Mr. Burke. Ah, you uh, speak. Maybe I should send the bellman up with a pass key. An ingenious plan, you shall be rewarded twofold. Thus shall we foil the queen, eh? Oh, a colonel in my household troop. The Belfont Grenadiers, the oldest and boldest of my regiments. Ah, a oh boy, uh, will you let Mr. Burke into 432? Yes, sir. After you, sir. No. We shared the comforts of the camp. We shall share the rigors of the field. Hey, Colonel, stir up to stir up. <laughs> oh, hey, we watch it, sir. <clears throat> Very rough terrain, Colonel. Very rough. It's kind of a rough night, so, huh? Rough? It was absolutely wild. <laughs> I was just taking a little walk around the block. Uh... Andy! Andy! Run and get some ice, quickly. He just passed out, lady. All he has to do is sleep it off. Run and get some ice, please. Yes, ma'am. Hi, baby. Hey, it won't be long. There's a service kitchen on this floor. Much better. <laughs> I told you so, lady. All he has to do is sleep it off. Well, I can manage now. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Good night. Good night. Well, did you find out anything more? Mm. All of the locks in the house were changed about two years ago. Mm. And all the permanent guests live on the fifth floor. 
Not more than half of the transient guests use the hotel safe. <laughs> Baby, we're back in business. Morning, innkeeper. Still on duty? Day man must be having a second breakfast. You're bright and early. Been to three hotels already. House officer around? Samson, he's waiting for you in the office. Okay, thanks. Oh, morning, Mike. Hi, Sam. Got a report on the staff? Yep, checked them all. They're clean as a whistle, even the guests. A very quiet night. Yeah? Well, it was quiet everywhere else, too. Well, a fella come in drunk, didn't have his key. We'll have to let him in with his pass key and help his wife sober him up. Yeah? Yeah. You got the pass key? Yeah. Who's the guy? Andrew Burke, registered with Mrs. Burke. Three days ago, Pittsburgh, PA, businessman. Desk, please. Hello, Mac. This guy Burke, is he still in the house? Well, he's probably asleep. He got in at three in the morning. Oh, his wife went out, though. Oh, about half an hour ago. Thanks. Tell me, does the Hotel Association pay you to wash pass keys? They're paying me to find out how the guests of ten hotels have had their valuables stolen during the past year, and how the thieves got through locked doors without leaving any marks of forcible entry. Well, that's what I get paid for, too, only not as much. Yeah? Hmm. Well, I just earned my fee. Look, see how the water runs off in little pellets? Oil? Wax. Somebody made a wax impression of this key during the night. Burks might have had something to do with it. Ballot, please. If so, they're gonna have to have a key made. That'll take time. We'll have to watch for a checkout then. Oh, no. Ballot? You tell me if the guest in 432 had anything sent out to be cleaned or pressed this morning? Now, wait. Think they'll hit us tonight? Sam, check the porter's desk. See if they've made any inquiries about train or plane ticket. Yeah? yeah sure. She did. Wait a minute. Two suits, four dresses, all lightweight tropical. Thanks. Never mind the porter's desk, Sam. Huh? They're getting ready to head south. Hey, that's good. That means they'll have to work fast and we've got a collar. It means just the opposite. They wouldn't operate while they're still registered here in the hotels. My guess they'll check out, go to yeah. Florida somewhere for a few months, then quietly sneak back with their private pass key and clean the place out. By that time, they'd be forgotten. Nobody would ever connect them with a the job. Hey, that's her now, Mrs. Burke. Yeah? Yeah, Mac. Yeah, we just saw her, thanks. Oh, Mac, tip me off to any incoming or outgoing calls in 432. Everything, room service, everything. I don't know about you, Sam, but I can't camp here in this hotel for three months till they come back. So what do we do? We figure some way to get them to use that key right away. Well, hi, baby. Gotta go, huh? Well, I saw Harry. He said the key will be ready this afternoon. Ah, good. Uh, did you get the tickets? Miss mm, Kane's special. Leaves 9 o'clock. Andy. Huh? When we get to Florida this time, let's just enjoy it. No work, huh? Uh, are you kidding? Hey, we got a drawing room on the gravy train. No, I mean it, honey. Let's just be tourists this time. Hey, listen, in two days, we'll be in the new Spain Hotel where I have a key to every room in the house. And I worked very hard to get them, remember? Well, we made a good score. We got dough. Mm-hmm. But we didn't get it by sitting in the sun, shaking sand out of our shoes. <laughs> hey, what's the trouble? Something wrong? No, it's just that as I was coming through the lobby, I, I felt someone watching me. <laughs> well, why not, huh? Oh, I don't mean that. There was someone in the manager's office. As I got on the elevator, I, I was sure he pointed me out. Yeah? Did you get a look at his face? Why not let him hire something and grab him with the evidence? Because they wouldn't have it on them. All your hotel would get would be a suit for false arrest. Near the stationery. We've got to force them to make their move tonight. And we've got to be able to prove they made it.
room service, ma'am. I came to get the table. Where's our regular waiter? Such a rush of business at meal times, we gotta scramble our calls. It's all right, though. We pool all our tips. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, I almost forgot. Housekeeper asked me to put fresh stationery on the desk. Pardon me. Jittery. The man kept his back turned. He's nervous, too. Well, now what? Now we wait for them to pick up their private pass key. Then we've got to convince them to use it. Mr. Barnett. Yeah, Will, what do you got? Well, they just left the desk, Mr. and Mrs. Burke. They asked to have their bill made up. They're checking out tonight at 8.30. They just left the house. Sam, you go up and get that job started. I'll stick with them. Thanks. Thanks. You got the key ready, Harry? Sure, Marilyn, baby. It's ready. Well, Andy's outside in the cab. That's fine. We'll talk it over while the meat is running, eh? That ought to make it quick. Talk what over? I was about four bills. What? You said twenty dollars. It was this morning. This is this afternoon. Five hundred bucks. You've always... I've always been getting the short end of this deal. Listen, baby doll, I've made 15, maybe 20 keys for you and that dude out there. And that happens to know what doors they've been opening. So that's how it is. It's right. 500 bucks. If you want to stay in business. I'll be right back. <laughs> It's about 500 bucks. It's like she told you. You want the key, that's the price. Don't do it, Andy. I'd hate to lose your trade. Okay, Harry. You uh, just give me the wax, and I'll get the key made in Miami. Oh, now, didn't I tell you? I ruined the wax when I was making a key. First time it's ever happened. You know, you got a sweet little racket there, Andy. But it won't, won't be worth a nickel without me, eh? Or uh, somebody like me. All I want's a little consideration, not a lot. <laughs> Only four bills. Let's forget about it. Let's get out of here. No cheap little grifter's gonna take me over the jumps. Consider yourself duck. Okay, Harry. But <sighs> my wallet. Where's the key? Thanks, Andy. Call again when you're in town. Yeah, Harry. You know, I think I will. Come on.
let's get packed. I want to leave here right after lunch. But don't be mad at me. It's not my fault that this happened. What's the idea? Huh? This your room? I'm changing the lock. Yeah, so I see. Well, uh, what's wrong with them? Nothing wrong with none of the locks in this house, but I'm changing them just the same. Every one of them. Uh, excuse me. Mind the toolbox, man. Well, uh, is this supposed to be a better lock? Not particularly, just different. There, see this lock? Only two years old. Ordinarily, hotel locks last 20, 30 years. That's what makes insurance so high, I guess. Anyways, the insurance company says, we change the locks every two years, the cost of the premiums or something goes down, something like that. Yeah, how long you been doing this? Well, off and on, all week. Tomorrow I start on the fifth floor. Here's your new key. Thanks. Of all that dirty, rotten luck. I'm glad we spent six days casing this tenement. Thirty bucks a day. Now, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hit this place tonight. No. Andy, this job is jinxed. Uh, First Harry shaking us down for the key and then changing the locks. Yeah, changing the locks. Hey, by tomorrow, the only thing this will fit on the fifth floor will be the broom closet, and I paid 500 bucks for it. I'm scared. We never operated like this before. Yeah, well, we're going to now. We got too big an investment in this thing. Oh, and... shut up, shut up. Let's get to work. <laughs> Okay, now what happens? What happens now is we wait. Where do you think he'll hit? Fifth floor, probably, if he knows the layout. That's where the permanent residents are. They're the ones who are the most careless with their valuables. Why not stake out the fifth floor and catch him in the act? He pulled the drunk act once before, remember? All you have to do would be to claim he got into the wrong room by mistake. Well, how long do we wait? Well, the dining room's open at 7.30. That means the guests will probably be leaving their rooms about 8. I'll give them a chance to work and then grab them as they check out. Well, suppose they don't, or suppose they hide the evidence. In that case, this hotel will have the biggest damage suit you ever saw. Oh, great. Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Um, give me a rundown on that again, will you? Stay out of 520. Yeah. It's an invalid, never leaves a room. And 553 is a, is a homemade burglar alarm. Yeah, yeah, I know all about that. Uh, tell me about the others. Well, 522 is an old lady. He just stepped on top of the dresser. And, yeah. and 515 is a, is a banker. Stamp collection probably in the yeah. desk. A 539 is uh, diamonds and emeralds. It's all small stuff. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, let's go. I said... This is our room, isn't it, honey? Huh?
give me the cashier's desk, please, yeah? Uh -huh. Hello. Uh, say, this is uh, Mr. Burke in uh, room 432. Yeah, would you uh, prepare our bill, please? We're checking out. Oh, and send up a bellboy for the bags, please. Thank you. Got an hour to catch that train. <laughs> I told you not to worry, baby. I told you not to worry. Went up to their bags. Okay. Sam, you go out front, like I told you. Right. Mac, give me a piece of cardboard, any size. Well, what's that for? Haven't time. I'll tell you later. Oh, I almost forgot. Just a minute, Andy, while I mail these letters to the girls. Wouldn't that be just like me to carry them all the way back to Pittsburgh? <laughs> yeah, it certainly would, eh? Well, come on, I'll keep the man waiting. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Room uh, 432, checking out, please. Oh, yes, sir. The bill's ready. Well, there you are. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, it's a little steep, but then it's a very nice little hotel. I don't mind paying. As long as the money belongs to somebody else. Is that what you mean, Burke? I beg your pardon. Who the devil are you? Well, not that it's important, but my name is Mike Barnett. Andy, he's the waiter. I, uh, I think I deserve an explanation. I'm sorry, sir, but Mr. Barnett has reason to believe that some of our rooms were robbed this evening. Oh. And by me, is that it? <laughs> well, will you, will you please call the police? They'll be here. Good. And when they are, I shall insist that both myself and my wife are searched along with our luggage. If they won't find anything, then you'll sue the hotel for false arrest. Is that the idea? But, Mike, you said they... I said they'd hit the joint. I didn't say they'd walk out with the loot. Well, where is it, then? Right there. I jammed the chute. Probably phony names, but addressed to wherever they're going, or thought they were going. <laughs> and does that, uh, that tin pot badge of yours entitle you to open the United States mail as well? No, but there'll be a federal postal inspector along with the police. Well, how do you know that we addressed those envelopes? How can you prove it? Do you remember the stationery I put on your desk? It was marked. All right, baby. Mm. Sam, they'll be checking you two into a new hotel. Not as swanky as this one, but you ought to like it. The same key opens all the doors. Mm -hmm. 